Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I will be talking about the question and answer session that normally a student would ask whether if they should pursue an electrical engineering degree. And previously I've made so many videos about traveling, about videos on lifestyle, videos on yada yada and this one which is the how to register as a graduate engineer and you can check it out in the card or in the description down below. In today's video, I will be sharing about the commonly asked questions by students on whether should I take electrical engineering. And I'll be very honest in answering the Q&As, uh, which I thought of myself, which is not really asked by an actual student. But I do have the similar questions back when I was enrolling in a university course. Opinions expressed are solely on my own and it does not reflect any opinion or any thoughts of my employer. Hey, should I take electrical engineering? No. So does it give you a job security or after graduation do you have problem finding any jobs? No, I wouldn't worry about that because I believe there are enough jobs for electrical engineering, especially in Malaysia and I wouldn't worry about it for the coming next 10 to 20 years as long as we keep improvising and learning, especially in the field of electrical engineering. Does electrical engineering make you rich? No, engineering doesn't make you rich. Not when you are a young graduate engineer, not when you are in Malaysia. Was it very hard to study? Yes. And in fact, I never truly understood anything until I applied it during my work and in my work to see the day-to-day -day applications. Have you ever regretted taking electrical engineering? Honestly speaking, no. However, I wouldn't recommend it for another student to take electrical engineering because I wanted to prevent another suffering. What is the reason you don't regret it? I don't regret taking electrical engineering as I am able to still make a living out of it and it is all that I have now to make things work, to meet my ends. What does an electrical engineer do? There are so many jobs an electrical engineer could do and it has so many that I couldn't even list it out in this short Q&A session but I would make a video and put the link in the card as well as the description down below. As an overview, I would say anything, any equipment, components, power lines, things that runs on electricity has a place for an electrical engineer to work at. An electrical engineer job can also range from doing calculation designs, drafting, designing, as well as working in construction sites or becoming a field inspector for quality inspection and consultancy as well. So there are a lot of jobs that an electrical engineer could be venturing into. How long is the average electrical engineering course? An average electrical engineering course should be four years long. And if you have any programs that are shorter than that, please consult your private or local university that you're attending to to confirm whether the course is actually internationally recognized. Does it involve a lot of math? I hate math. Yes, it is a lot of math. And if you hate math, avoid at all costs. Once again, are you sure you're not rich? No, why else do you think I'm making YouTube videos right now? Does getting a 4.0 helps in your electrical engineering degree in terms of job searching after graduation? To be honest, I don't really know. And what matters, I would say, is a good personality as well as excellent soft skill definitely could help with your job search. Is electrical engineering harder than mechanical engineering? Quick disclaimer, this answer is only my opinion. Yes, I would say electrical engineering degree is definitely harder. It's because it's a study of things that we can't actually see with our naked eye. Like we study the electricity current, voltage, as well as resistance. Things that 
recruitancy plus calculation. However, a study of mechanical engineering is things that we could see and feel. It's the shape of things, is how the wind blows or the heat transfer that we could feel in our life plus calculations. So you decide which pill you're going to take. There we go. We have finished the speed run of question and answer session of what a student might ask, might commonly ask before they decide what course they want to take, especially uh, if you are considering electrical engineering degrees. And I hope this video helps you to figure out and gain some insights. And if you like to see more content like this, give a thumbs up as well as drop comments down below and let me know what else do you want to know about electrical engineering. And I certainly hope I could give uh, useful information if there's anything that I know of. Bye!